This is an easy and fun printmaking project for kids and adults. I always like to start with some inspiration. I pulled this from my image files. You could also do a Google search and find something that you're interested in drawing. You'll need some drawing paper, a pencil and eraser, and something to spread the ink on. I'm using artist palette paper, but you could use a piece of plexiglass or a piece of glass, a plastic placemat, or I like to use freezer paper wrapped around cardboard or even tin foil wrapped around a cookie sheet. A palette knife and some block printing inks. I'm using Speedball brand, but there are other brands. You'll need a brayer, a plastic spoon for rubbing the backside of the print, and some different kinds of paper to print on. You can use white paper, but I also really love to print on colored paper. I always keep a wet paper towel close by to wipe my hands. You'll also need a piece of styrofoam, which I cut out from my takeout containers. You also could buy um, styrofoam plates and cut the center out. The first thing I do is trace the size of the styrofoam onto my drawing paper so that I'll do the sketch the right size. So using my inspiration, I'm just going to draw. Now, of course, you could trace something. Um, I like to just make it my own, and it doesn't have to be perfect when you're working with styrofoam printing. One way to transfer your drawing onto the styrofoam is to use a graphite transfer. So I'm using the window as a light box and I'm scribbling graphite on the back of my drawing. I usually use a darker pencil if I have one. If not, you just use a lot of lead on the back of this drawing. Now I'm ready to transfer my drawing to the styrofoam. So you wanna make sure you place it under there correctly. And if you're working with kids, you can definitely tape this down so that it doesn't wiggle around while they're transferring. You press hard with the pencil because you're transferring the graphite, but also a little bit of an indentation onto the styrofoam. Go over your whole drawing with this equal pressure but not pressing super hard because you're gonna go over it again once you remove the paper and can see your drawing on the styrofoam. Okay, my drawing is transferred to the styrofoam. The graphite's a bit smudgy, but I also see a slight indentation where I've drawn. So now I'm gonna go ahead and press down hard on the whole drawing, and I'm trying to create an indentation that's even across the whole drawing. The idea is whatever you're pressing down will not receive ink. 
So you want to make sure that every detail is pressed in evenly. You can see I go over anything that looks like it's too light and I just check over my work to make sure it looks good. You can always go back and press a line in deeper if you choose and now we're ready to start inking. Here I'm adding some extender that is sold with the inks. This lets the ink stay wet longer. So if you're working with children, it's really a good idea to include this and you just mix it into your ink. Now we're ready to load the brayer with ink. So you pick up some ink, you go to a clean spot here and roll it back and forth until you can tell that the brayer is covered with ink in all areas. This is actually a really important step. So you wanna make sure that your ink isn't too thick. And by using this technique, if get it, getting it evenly distributed on the brayer will help you get it evenly distributed on the printing plate. So you're just rolling across the top of the printing plate, not pressing too hard, so that the ink doesn't go into those lines that you've drawn. Once my plate is evenly inked, I'm ready to pull a print. So I take my paper and put it on top of the inked printing plate and either with my hand or the back of a plastic spoon, I'm gonna apply even pressure across the whole paper. You can always pull up a corner. If you hold one side with your hand, you can pull up the other side to see how you're doing. It's not bad, but I could have used a little extra ink. So here I'm gonna show you how to make a printing guide which I just sort of forgot, I just jumped into printing. And I, I traced the printing plate, and now my paper is slightly bigger than the printing plate. And I'm going to put some lines on where the paper is and center it over the printing plate. Okay, there we go. That's what a printing guide looks like. So here we go again. You can see this time that when I go to ink the plate, you can't really tell how much ink you're putting on. So that's why that loading the brayer step is very important.
First put down your printing guide. Put the printing plate in the center. Then I like to use that wet paper towel and get my hands clean so I don't mess up my paper before I print on it. And we'll grab the paper and you're gonna center it over the printing plate by following that guide that I've drawn on the printing guide. I decided I want to try a different color. So you just wash this off with water and either a sponge or your fingers, your hands work. It comes off pretty easily. When the ink gets too spread out, I use the palette knife to scrape it off the palette paper and gather it back up again. This way you don't waste a lot of ink. Now I wanted to try these colors together. First I mixed some colors, then I just put pink next to the black and rolled it that way. You can have fun with it. I've done this project by myself and I've done this project with kids before, but as you can see, I really had fun this time around. I didn't want to stop. So I hope you'll give it a try. And like I said, kids will definitely enjoy this project as well as adults. Mm -hmm.